Spring is the iconic time to graft fruit trees. So in the spring, we can do cleft grafting, bark grafting, whip and tongue grafting. Later in the season though, nature gives us another opportunity and that is to do bud grafting. You can do bud grafting later in the summer before the trees are starting to go dormant at the end of the season. In this little video, it's an excerpt from a course that I created together with Steph Muma of Silver Creek Nursery. And in this little video, we're going to teach you how to collect budwood that you can use to propagate a fruit tree. So we're going to start with the most important thing, which is how do you know that the buds are ripe on the branches, that it is time for budding. And that's what we're going to teach you right now. Now there are two steps for checking if your budwood is ready. Step one is to bend a new growth branch. If it's stiff, then the heartwood or the woody part of the branch has formed and it's ready for budding. But if the branch is soft and flexible and wiggly, it's not ready yet. Alternatively, you can take that new growth branch and use your finger to scratch the bark of the branch. If the hardwood has formed, you're going to feel that the branch is hard underneath that soft young bark. Step two is to pull back a leaf on the budwood to see if the buds are mostly brown. That is a sign of ripeness and in this image you can see very clearly that the bud is quite brown. But if the buds are still green, the budwood is not ready yet and you, there's no point in harvesting this budwood yet. Now, here's a quiz for you. In this image, which apple tree bud is mature and which is not? Have a look and make a call. If you look carefully, you can see that the branch on the right has a bud, a triangular shaped bud that is mostly brown. That bud is indeed ripe. On the left, you can see that the bud isn't even clear. It certainly isn't brown, and that certainly is not ready. We'll see more examples in just a minute. In general, we know that a bud is ripe if it is 50 to 80% brown. With some varieties, the ripe bud will look silver rather than brown, but that's very rare. Mostly, you're going to be looking for a brown bud. Now, just a little fun fact. Why are young fruit tree branches sometimes fuzzy? And you can see that in this picture. Well, sometimes young fruit tree branches are covered in soft hairs and they look fuzzy because that fuzz has evolved to protect the young branch from sunburn and water loss. Those little tiny hairs can also create a barrier that makes it hard for pests to navigate and lay their eggs. As the branches mature, the hairs will wear off and the branches will develop a thicker and tougher outer layer of bark. But the fuzziness may not indicate whether or not the branch is ready for budding. Instead, don't look at the fuzziness. Just check to see if the bud color is brown and that will help you to determine if it is ripe yet. So another little quiz, let's look at this bud. Is this bud mature? Well here, this is on the tip of the branch and it looks like the bud is quite green. So I wouldn't say that this is mature. Now having a look at this branch, is this bud mature? Well, I do see some green, but I do see some brown and I would say it's at least 50% brown. So you could use this branch for budding. So if your budwood looks great, the buds are brown, what do you do next? Here are the steps to collecting budwood. First of all, choose a healthy shoot on the tree that you want to propagate. Identify the growth ring showing this year's growth. And then use sterilized hand pruners to snip off that current year's growth to use as budwood. Next, snip off all the leaves on the remaining buds to prevent them from draining energy from your budwood stick. Leave only the petiole, and that's the leaf stem, and you're going to use that later as a handle. The buds near the branch tip are often not yet ripe, so you can just snip them right off. 
label the budwood with tape to indicate the variety, and then bundle and wrap the budwood in a towel and keep it in a cooler until you're ready to use it. Use your budwood as soon as possible, within minutes or hours is best. If necessary, you can, of course, keep it in a cooler, but only up to about one week. So now you know how to collect budwood, you need to know how to use it to propagate a fruit tree. And if you want to know more, why don't you check out our link in the description below and it will tell you how you can sign up for our online course, Complete Fruit Tree Grafting and Budding. And Steph and I would love to help you every step of the way to make sure you are successful in propagating fruit trees. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.